Hello guys, this is Usha Kiran and welcome to yet another YouTube video. The topic of today's video is 10 amazing facts about stars. Fact number one, not everything you look into the sky is a star. Some might be a planet, some might be a star and some might be just a meteor or a comet. How do you know whether you're looking at a star or a planet? Well, the trick is if you keep on staring at that point of light or at a particular point of light and if you see twinkling, it means you're looking at a star. If it doesn't twinkle, most probably it's a planet. Fact number two. In olden days, when there were no compasses, people used to navigate using stars at night. For example, the southern constellations and northern constellations are used to identify the directions of south and north during sea travel by old explorers. When I say old explorers, I don't mean that they are old in age, but they are of an olden age. Fact number three. Contrary to the popular idea that stars are falling on us, actually, almost all the stars we look at the sky are moving away from us. This is due to the expansion of the universe. Fact number four. You always notice scientists saying the exact distance of stars, right? One scientist says that this star is 4 million light years away and one star is just 70 light years away. So how do they know it? Do they just go around and measure it in a tape? Actually, scientists find the distance of a star by its color shift. A star that is red shift in color is quite long. The wavelength of red is quite long. So by the color shift of the color of the star that we get, scientists predict the distance of stars, which is actually not accurate, but appropriate. Fact number five, 90% of the stars that you're seeing in the sky right now won't be there after a million years. This is because of the expansion of the universe, their light might no longer reach us, which means the sky in the future is going to be very, very dark. Fact number six. It's actually reverse to fact number five. As I told you that the future sky is going to be very dark, the opposite is true for the ancient sky. Because the universe didn't expand back then, it used to be much more populated. And that's why our ancient people have recognized the Milky Way. The olden sky is much more spectacular and they could have seen much more stars. Much more nebulous would have been visible in the olden sky. But today we don't find them. And tomorrow is going to be much more darker. Fact number seven. We all must have thought that one day we'll reach the stars. And reaching the stars is technically called interstellar travel. But for some stars, interstellar travel is not possible. Because they are so far away from us, even if we go at the speed of light, we wouldn't ever be able to reach them. Even after a billion years, we would still be on the way to reach them and we would never reach them. Fact number eight. As I have told you already, not everything you see in the sky is a star. So what is the most distant object that you can see in the sky? Well, it's called a quasar. What is a quasar? A quasar is a burst of light that emits when a black hole is eating a large star. And the farthest quasar we have ever seen is around 45 billion light years far away from us. From this, we can deduce that the size of the universe, or at least the size of the observable universe, is around 90 billion light years in diameter. Fact number nine. As I've told you that some stars are light years away. So when you're staring at the night sky, the light that is hitting your eye sometimes might have originated at the star years and years before. Some of the light that might be hitting your eye would be so old that when it was generated from the star, the Earth wasn't even born yet. If you had a large enough telescope and if you went to that star theoretically, you can actually see the birth of the Earth. You can actually see dinosaurs, which actually isn't theoretically possible. Fact number 10. You can see most number of stars if you go to a very remote place. Because of light pollution in cities and urban populated areas, you can't see stars. However, even if you go to the most remote places, there are only so many stars that you can see with your naked eye. That's because some stars emit radiation. The human eye only sees a very small part of the visual spectrum. So therefore, you can see a small fraction of everything that is in the universe. All right, guys, thanks for watching patiently till the end of this video. And before we leave, I just want to leave you guys with a question. What is the closest star to the solar system? Write that in the comments down below. And please let me know if there are any mistakes in the video. I'd love to get some feedback. Write in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.
స్టార్ట్ అయిపోయింది అరే రికార్డ్ అయిపోతుందా ఓకే